We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. U.S. soldier join the cartel and get arrested. Oh, man. Let's dive into you it. You know, a lot of veterans have an issue finding employment after they get out of the military. But there are Act some two. veterans that don't just, you know, rise to meet the challenge that is set in front of them and get a normal day to day. No, no, no. Some of them will they surpass all expectations and end up doing something incredibly stupid. Oh. And yet entertaining in an internet video, which is why we're here today. Because okay, somebody decided okay. that they wanted their second half of their lives to be in a career of crime and work with the Mexican cartels in what I would call an interesting specialty. Welcome, William Lewis Inert. Well, Inert is definitely a good name for him because he decided that after being in the military, the next logical evolution in his life would be to work with one of the Mexican cartels in the what? Gulf, specifically the Los Escorpions in the Gulf cartel. Oh. Now, how do you know that I know that Billy got picked up with the Los Escorpiones of the Gulf Cartels down <laughs> in Mexico? Headed. Well, Mexico ended up arresting him, and they brought him to Mexico City and said, Hey, look at this guy working with this cartel. He happens to be a United States citizen. But oh, no. no. Oh, and he has prior military so I bet. I bet he used try to use that car to get out of the jail in Mexico. I'm a U.S. citizen. Don't touch me. And I'm a veteran. Ha, ha, ha. Get out of jail free card. I was... Although, for some reason, and I don't know why, right. the Mexican government has not stated what his MOS was. And I'll be damned, I can't find it either. So, is this guy some super secret squirrel guy going down there and doing Black Ops missions? I highly doubt it. And Go we'll on. see why. And okay. the business, we call this foreshadowing. But it would right. be interesting to figure out exactly what this guy did and how long he was in. My guess is a combat engineer. You have my curiosity. Now you Interesting. Have my curiosity. Combat engineer. Oh, 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 you see everybody's ears picked up there. You know, uh -huh. inert combat engineer with somebody using their skills as a... Oh, ATF in order to the chat. assist the cartel? <laughs> yes. Yes, that is exactly what's happened. William oh, Inert. No. Billy Inert. Oh, inert. No. Bomb. Oh, no. Jesus. Get it? Wasn't caught just running and gunning with this Gulf cartel. You know, it wasn't just some hitman or a guy behind the wheel, like driver or baby right. driver or another getaway driver movie, movie with the word driver in it. Wasn't right. even a hitman. A mule? Nope. He made landmines. I'm not joking. And by the looks of them, they're extremely crude. I mean, I can see the fins on top that if they're disturbed, it might set off an exp Oh. Oh, he made landmines and that looks like a really fucked up landmine holy sugar tits explosion but the rest of the thing just looks kind of like a weird beat up robot dildo and during the rest <laughs> the mexican government stated that the robot seizure of dildo. multiple explosive devices underscore the heightened security challenges in the region i would say so i mean if you got some guy that's just floating around making ieds for the gulf cartel so that yep. way anybody who stumbles upon it law enforcement or not Damn. I would say that that is a significant event. And what is going on with veterans nowadays when we're trying to do military coups in Venezuela? Trying right. to get to Kenya. And what's slowly becoming the norm is, I guess, fighting in Ukraine. Then it doesn't matter which side because there's that one weird guy that brought a photo of him and his Marine duds. And then there's obviously what? like a shit ton of dudes that are fighting for Ukraine. Is it me or did everybody that got in after 2011 just didn't see enough combat to their liking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, I came out. I joined 2000. 2000 yeah. Oh, God. I got to remember. 2013, I joined the Army. I never saw action. But I'm not. I'm, I, we don't. They're not like us. <laughs> Take. Hey, wait a minute. They're not like us. <laughs> that, that's not my people. They're not, they're not like us. They're not like us, okay? They're not like us. And they us. just got <laughs> bored and said, well, I'll do it myself. myself. Pretty much. Now I could understand that you would be sitting there looking at me saying, hey, see, I don't quite get it. How do you just jump from military service into just joining the cartel? cartel. There's yeah. some space in between there. And you'd be right. And Billy was busy assaulting people in the no-no areas. And what? he actually has a warrant out of Colorado for failing to register as a... Oh! Yes. Billy got arrested for attempted and then failed to register. And I would assume that, you know, oh. if you're making bad decisions like that, well, you might as well just run off to Mexico and start making bombs down there for the cartels. Because as long as you have a heartbeat, I'm pretty sure that the cartel is going to look at your resume and say, 
It's stories Pretty like much. this that make me glad I can seal carry just about everywhere. Did we do the transition thing? Am nice. I here now in the stuff like that? Okay, whatever. And that's why I'm glad that Arrowhead Tactical is the sponsor for today's video. Because with their- Oh, I like the shirts. Hold on. Their fantastic athletic gear, not only is it comfortable, but it can allow you to carry concealed, even in sweatpants. Not only are these things comfortable- Nice, I might have to order one, so, but- I love it, it's probably one of my favorites. Right next to my- Oh, yeah! Sorry, I had to screenshot that for the thumbnail. Or like, what's Tiny Polo? Polo Gordo, the fat chicken, that would be mine. Well, you know, a lot of, I don't know if that made sense. It sounded like Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. Pretty much, yep. Yeah, the debate was a fucking joke. Can we, can we talk about that? They were arguing about golf and shit, and then Joe Biden didn't make no sense. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out AC, amazing content creator. I'll link the original video down below. And um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free 99 Catch you guys in the next video.